Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today we're going to talk about templates in Luminar AI. Now, before Luminar AI was released, I did, I think, two videos talking about what we could expect from Luminar AI. And the reason why I did those videos is I was lucky enough to be in a Zoom call with several other affiliates with Skylum Software, and they gave us kind of a preview of Luminar AI before it was released. And I misrepresented something about templates, and I want to clear that all up in this video. Um, specifically, I was either led to believe or I just misunderstood a feature of templates. Now, when you have an image in Luminar AI and you're in the catalog section, you decide you want to work on this raw file. One way you could do it instead of going to edit is go to templates. And what templates are are presets. So you're going to apply a preset and hopefully you'll be done once you apply this template. But most likely it'll get you close to where you want to be. Then you could go over to edit and finish off the image. Now what I misrepresented, I was under the impression that templates were a lot smarter than they actually are. Um, I thought they mentioned that um, Luminar AI examines an image, determines what elements are in a scene, and then when you apply a template, that template will customize itself to that specific scene and image. Uh, so it will adjust, let's say, the exposure for that image specifically, adjust the white point, the black point for that image specifically. Then when you go to the go to another image and apply that same template, it will do the same thing for that image. It will apply white balance the exposure, white point, black point, specifically for that image. And it doesn't do that. It just is a preset. And it goes on your image and it does adjustments that hopefully you like. Now what it does do is Luminar AI does examine the scene, determines what's in the scene, and then it recommends some templates for that scene. For example, on this image, it's a landscape image, um, pretty simple image, right? For this photo at the top, you could see it's recommending this easy landscape set of templates. You could see that there's six templates there. It's also recommending natural skies, and you could see there's five templates there. And it's also recommending artistic, and you can see there's five templates there. So those are the recommendations. Now, you don't have to stay with these recommendations. You could go and choose any group of templates you want. Uh, they have them down below. They have essentials. You could see all then go back. There's close-ups and scenery are all. But then below that, we have landscapes. We have four sets here. You could see all. And you could see that there's four sets of templates. And below that, Mother Nature. Below that, Portrait. And who's, you, know, you could put a portrait template on a landscape or vice versa. Whatever works. Uh, macro. And you can see that there's a lot of templates. And they're all in these specific groups. But what it does do, as far as the AI is concerned, it examines the features in the image. In this image, uh, apparently, Luminar AI knows that there's a sky there, knows that there's water, knows there's a landscape. So it's recommending like a set of landscape templates. You could come in and then just apply them. When you go from template to template, each template overwrites the previous template completely. So you're not stacking them, you're overwriting them totally. So you could go through and hopefully you see something you like. If you don't see something in that group, go to another group and then just click through and see something. Hopefully that gets you close, at the very least, close to something you want. And then if it does, um, you know, fit what you're going for, you could either take it as is or you could go to the edit panel and then touch it up. And let's just take one. Let's, um, all right, let's take, I don't care for it, but let's do it anyway, the neon skyline. Let's say I really like this and I find I use it a lot. I get favored it. I could just click this little heart and now it's a favorite template and that will be found over here in my collection. If you click there, you'll see favorites. And if I roll that open, there's the neon skyline. If you purchase any templates and install them in Luminar AI, they'll show up here. You can see I haven't purchased any. If you do purchase any, uh, when you receive them, you go up to File, and then down add, go down to Add Luminar AI Template Collection. And when you do that, they'll install them in Luminar, and they'll show up in Purchased. Uh, my templates are ones you create, and I'll show you that in a minute. 
and legacy templates. If you bought any uh, Luminar looks that were in Luminar 4 or presets that were in previous versions, they'll show up here in legacy templates. Um, now, let's go back uh, a moment. Uh, we have this one favorited, Neon Skyline. And I said that wasn't really exactly what I wanted. So let's say we go to edit. And when we go to edit, you'll see little dots next to all the tools that were used in this template. So light was used. Was enhance used? Yeah, as you see the little dot, enhance was used, light was used, structure was used. Now, just because those were used doesn't mean you could come in. You don't, you can't come in and readjust these. So I could come in and readjust this if I want. Like that, I could go up, let's say to just enhance and increase the enhancement of everything there. Uh, I could go to color and maybe I think it's just a little bit too, well, maybe not. Maybe I'll go down to, let's say, color harmony and specifically to split color warmth. And I want those cool um, tones to be a little warmer. So I'm gonna warm those up. I'm gonna warm the whole thing up a little bit. So I'm readjusting it the way I like it. Now you'll notice that that template I use, Neon Skyline, if you look down here, it now says Neon Skyline Edited. And if I go over uh, back to Templates and I click on the My Collection again, you'll see that Neon Skyline is there. This edited isn't, but I can add this to it. If I click this little three dots here, I could click Save. So I saved it, then I could favorite it, and you could see it's there now. Now I don't want it to say Neon Skyline Edit, I could give it its own name. So I could rename it, and I could say uh, My Template, all right? Because I'm not, it's still not something I really like, but for demonstration purposes, you get the idea. So I took Neon Skyline, I went to the Edit panel, and I modified it, I saved it, I favorited it, and then I renamed it my template. So you could do that very easily, and you could unfavorite it as well, and it won't show up there anymore. It will be under my templates, though, right there, and I could favorite it. So that's how you could, you know, make templates your own. You could make a template out of anything. So let's say if I go back down here in the lower right-hand corner and I go to these three dots, you could see I could edit. If I do that, it'll just bring me to the edit panel. It's the same thing as if I clicked right there. If I go back to those three dots again, I could save it. I did that, I showed how to save it. But what if I just reset adjustments? That brings me right back uh, to an unprocessed raw file. Now, if I go to edit and I just want to uh, process this image in a more conventional way, let's say we come in like this. I'm just gonna do it super fast, so bear with me. Uh, I'm gonna open up shadows considerably and like that and I want to take temperature and just warm it up just a touch like that and then all right let's just let's just say it's kind of done all right let's go to golden hour a little bit I still want it a little warmer. All right, so that's my edit, and I like this edit, and I wanna save it as a template. You see how it says down here, my template edited? Just click on these three dots, click save. Now it's there. Now I could favorite it if I want to, I'll favorite it, but if we go back to templates, this is what we have to jump around a little bit, we go to favorites, there it is, and I could then give it a name, rename it, and I could call it uh, my second template all right so i created my own template from scratch that time favorited it and um, renamed it and if i take away the favorite it's still under my template not my template i'm sorry if i click on these three dots i could delete it and that's what i'll do yes because i don't like either of them really in real life but i could delete them so you could delete them and you can see that Neon Skyline is the template that came with um, Luminar AI. It isn't one I created, so it's still there. I could unfavorite it, and it's there. So there's templates, uh, pretty much, I think, everything you need to know. They're really just presets, and I'm sorry I misrepresented, it, misrepresented them in earlier videos. 
uh, thinking they were something they were not. So give them a try. Maybe there's something in here you like. Let's see. Well, there's nothing in there I like, but maybe there is something in there that you like. And, um, nah, nah. Okay. Let's just reset it. Let's cut our losses and go back right to the beginning here. Whoops, didn't want, there we go. All right. That's templates in Luminar AI. Hopefully there's something in there you like for the specific image you're working on. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.